Leatherman are a company that specialise in making premium high quality multi-tools. The PS4 we're looking at today is one of their keychain size tools and this is designed for everyday carry. The PS4 measures 5.72 centimetres long and weighs in at about 56 grams or so. The construction of it is aluminium on this black frame and all the tools are made of stainless steel. Should note also it comes in a couple different colours, I think red and blue as well. The first one is the pliers which you can access by opening up the tool like so. The pliers have sort of a crinkling texture which is good for grip and I found you can can apply a decent amount of force with these. At the bottom here, you've got a little wire cutter blade. I didn't find this particularly useful. I tried it on like a brake cable for a bike and that was it was pretty useless at that, but it might be better for sort of smaller little cables. All of the other tools are located on the outside, so you don't have to open it up every time. So starting with a knife, you've got this curved blade, which is uh, single-sided. This was really sharp out the box and it's a pretty, feels like a pretty good quality steel. So I think it'll stay quite sharp for a while, but fairly easy to sharpen because you've got that sort of single edge blade. Next, you've got the file, which uh, has two different textures. So you've got sort of lines on one side and then sort of a more crisscross arrangement. I've not used this too much, but um, I think you could use it on wood or plastic. Uh, I wouldn't probably wouldn't use it on the nails. Another cool thing is that it's got sort of an edge file as well if you need to get it into a tight spot. Next are the scissors. And when I first saw these, I thought, oh God, these are gonna be horrendous. But they're actually, again, really sharp, just like the blade. And that means they can get through sort of paper, card, little bits of plastic really easily. They are obviously quite small as you can see, but they do the job quite well uh, in a pinch though they are a little bit finicky. Next, you've got the screwdriver, which is sort of a, a very small hybrid between a Phillips and a flathead, and it does an okay job. Um, probably not great for bigger tasks because it's awkward to turn the handle, but it's, it's certainly workable. Lastly, you've got the bottle opener, and on my tool, it's got really tough to get out actually in the end, which is starting to become a bit of an issue. Um, it can also be used as sort of a flathead screwdriver, a bit of a larger end. And the way that it works, you have to hook in this little part to the ridges on the bottle cap, and then you can sort of leverage it open. It's not the best bottle opener I've used, but it is sort of serviceable. What can I say about the general use of this thing? Well, because it's quite a small and light tool, it's not designed for heavy duty jobs, and it's definitely not gonna replace your toolkit. But I think, you know, the best tool to use is the one you actually have on you, and if you have this in your pocket, you'll find that it will come in handy in a lot of situations. What are my gripes with this then? Well, firstly, the bottle opener. It's become so tight that I can't even get the tool out. Uh, regardless of that though, I found it quite a finicky bottle opener to use anyway, even if it, it was working functionally. Another thing is that the uh, suspension function on the pliers has stopped working. This is less of a problem, to be honest, because it doesn't really affect the use of the pliers, but again, it's something that's annoying. I contacted the support about these queries, and actually the Leatherman support are really good. They give you a 25-year warranty, and so I can sort of post, post this back and hopefully get a replacement, uh, but I'm just being really lazy at the moment, which is why I've still got this. I've got to say I'm a little bit disappointed with how the bottle opener turned out and also losing the suspension function. I thought it would hold up a bit better because I've only had it a couple of years, and I, I don't use it every day. It's sort of just carried around. Let's talk about some of the competitors to the PS4. So Leatherman make a couple of Others. Firstly, the Micro, which has uh, scissors as the main tool rather than pliers. And then there's the ES4, which instead of having pliers, has a wire stripping. So these have similar tools as in terms of the other ones, like a knife and scissors, but it sort of just depends on what you want that main tool to be. One of the main competitors to Leatherman is a company called Gerber, which also offers sort of a 25 year warranty on their products. And they've got much more reasonably priced, I'd say, options, which seem to have the same kind of functionality as the PS4. So you've got the Vice and the Dime, which come in at about 15, 20 pounds. And to be honest, they seem to be a much better value proposition. And if I was gonna buy again, I'd probably look to one of those because I've not necessarily been amazed by the quality of uh, the PS4. Okay, let's summarize as usual and start with the good points. So this is really portable and really light. You can attach it to your keys and carry it around with you and use it when sort of situation arises. So it's really handy for that. Overall, I was pretty impressed with the build quality and the tool quality. Uh, in particular, I found the pliers quite useful and the knife, apart from that sort of suspension issue on the plier. They generally work quite well for their intended purpose as well, as long as you don't push them too far. The last thing this has got going for it is that it is backed by that warranty that Leatherman offer. I think this is great, so you just need to send it back to them if there's a mechanical fault of some kind, and then they can send you a replacement. Okay, well the bad stuff I've experienced, firstly there's that bottle opener, which I can't even use anymore, but regardless, the bottle opener is one of the weaker tools in here. I think the Gerber Dime has a better looking bottle opener, I think that would be a good option. Then you've got the consideration that it is a very small tool, so it's not going to be very useful for sort of heavy duty tasks, it has its limits and you have to bear that in mind. And lastly you've got the cost. It's quite a premium offering at about £40, and I think you're better off going to value options like the Gerber Dime or Gerber Vice, because this has held up quite well compared to say some knockoff unbranded stuff, but I'm not blown away with how it is after two years. Yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to say. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments, but I'll see you in the next one.